Hey guys, it's Tepco Psych Repair. Today we're going to be going over why you want to stay away from these foam cannons. Trust me. Stay tuned. So for this, we're going to spray it on and hose it off real quick. No problem at all. And even with just hosing the soap on and washing it off, the bike's still dirty. See what I'm saying? It's the only real way. And anybody who knows anything about cleaning cars is that you don't even want the water to dry without you wiping it off. You should have a chamois for that. You always want to keep your car wet and dry at your control. Don't let it dry under the sun. Don't let the water dry on its own. It'll leave spots. That's the only way to get a clean vehicle. So I got to clean my car next. And the bottom line, guys, is it's just getting the dust off. I mean, if you spray it on there with the soap and the foam cannon, you better hose it off right away because if it dries, I know you're going to get streaks and lines. And it's kind of like the uh, touchless car wash. It doesn't really do anything. It just kind of throws some soap on there and then hoses it off and gets the loose dust off. If you want to clean your car or your motorcycle, you got to hit it by hand. It's the only way to do it. Don't waste your money on those foam cannons. And if you're cleaning your car, using a good old bucket and soap, do a panel at a time, wipe it down, hose it off. Wipe it down, hose it off. That's the only way to do it right. Don't cover your whole car in foam just to have it dry on there and etch in all kinds of uh, nasty foam looking lines in your car that then you have to get out. Hi right, guys, hopefully this helps you out. Don't waste your money on those foam cannons. Just get a good old bucket and soap and a good sponge. Keep your vehicles clean. Hopefully this helps you out. Hit the like button, subscribe. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.